Welcome everyone, please have a seat, hold your applause until the end. We're sitting here, we're sitting down tonight with the great, revered, ultra romance, also known as Jonathan Wheeler, and he's going to speak to us a little bit about what goes into his livelihood, Instagram. He's going to give you some background on where he came from, his childhood, his dreams, and he's going to walk you through a successful post. By the end of this symposium, you guys are going to go out and confidently take home a thousand, maybe two, two thousand followers by the end of tonight with uh, the gems that you already have on your on your phone in the uh, in your camera files. All right. So without further ado, here is Ultra Romance. Woo! I said, hold your applause till the end. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, as you may know, uh, and, and I'm sure the reason that you are here today is that I am the number one cycling Instagrammer on the Instagram. Um, that... <laughs> Well, you know, and that doesn't come without strategy. And that doesn't come without blood, sweat, tears, and gears. GM. Trademark. <laughs> All right, let me give you a little backstory. Picture, if you will, a man with a, a phone by Boost Mobile. Okay? That was me. I was gifted a used iPod Touch. My friends were telling me about this new thing called Instagram, only on Apple products. Well, I had just gotten this new iPod Touch, and I said, hey, I could do this. I was looking at other people's posts, and I just wasn't impressed. What's up? Thank you, that's been very nice. So... What I did from then on out was started that account, and I just said, I'm just going to make this the best account that I could possibly imagine. Woohoo! Here, here! That's also how I start my day. The best day I could possibly imagine. How is this going to look on the internet? Okay? That's, that's how you got to wake up in the morning. You got to look around you, okay, and say, What can I take a picture of? Like, what are my surroundings? If they're not something that people are going to like, then you got to change your life, okay? <laughs> All right, first, in my Instagram career started as a contest between Patrick, uh, Jared, and myself. That's true. <laughs> Jared from Subway? So Jared from Subway. We wanted to find out who can get the most followers. Well, I knew I could do it because I have, on the spectrum, I could highly concentrate on something. And I knew right away I was going to be good at this. And so off I went, taking photos with my iPod Touch. And slowly but surely, those followers started rolling in. And then what you got to do is, you got to find out who the other big guns are. Okay? You got to know your competition. Can you name a couple? I'm not naming any big guns because in my world there's only one. <laughs> All right? So you find out who the big guns are and you go to where they are. Okay? And like what you all are doing right here. I know why you're on this trip. Okay? You're, 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 so that you already got the first step taken care of. Okay? So now you got to work for that camera. All right? You gotta work. This this goes. Your posts are secondary to what you gotta do to put in the legwork in the beginning. Okay. You gotta work for that camera. You gotta get that camera to work for you. Okay. So once you get featured, and if you have a good enough account, people will follow. They will follow. Okay. But it's not gonna be easy because you can't just put up anything. And I've been this way since the very beginning. I don't put up just anything. You gotta make sure every single post you put up is highly calculated. You gotta put it up at the right time, and you gotta make sure you use the right filters. And that was the beginning. We don't use filters anymore. If you're using right now, raise your hand if you use filters. You gotta stop that. 
Nobody uses filters. Filters were cool for maybe like the first six months of Instagram. That's true. Okay? That's true. Right. Nobody uses filters. Anybody remember Calvin? Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> Okay. Um, Amen. No filters. So I would say start with downloading the you know whatever you know the trending uh, you know photo editing app is. Okay. And you can't be editing photos on the computer either. If you're editing photos on the computer, oh that looks great on the computer, but how's it going to look on that little screen? Okay. So you got to edit the photos <laughs> in the best app on your screen. I think that right now is Snapseed. Okay. So get that Snapseed. All right, you get the photo right, okay, and then you post it at a calculated time. Find out, you know, when when do you get the most, you know, do a little internet research. For me, it's about five o'clock Eastern time. Sundays are power. Po- Sundays a good day, okay. Sunday evening, people are looking through. They're like, oh, what did I do for my? How much did my weekend suck? I just sat at home. What's this guy doing? Holy shit! Okay. <laughs> All right. You want them. You want them to want to be you, and I don't focus on women. That was the thing. I focus on men wanting to be me, and that's <laughs> that's that was always my that was my thing from the beginning. I was never trying to impress women. I was just wanting. I, ne- I wasn't trying to be like, oh, he's, you know, I was. You, you can't you can't go out and just think that you're gonna like, oh, I'm big on Instagram. I'm gonna get laid. That's what I'm gonna use this for. No, I'm you want you want you want men to want you and want to be you. Excuse okay? me, from the audience over here. Uh huh. I have a question. How important is um, macho? No, it's you. But you know, macho is macho is important. I'd say. Okay. Well, you know, we gotta change our language here. You know, <laughs> machismo. <laughs> You don't want to be macho. You, want you to sound pretty me. macho to me. Yeah, that was pretty macho right hey, there. But Patrick, you want to check that? Um, so oh, I just got it. I just got it. Sorry, inter- I just sorry, got sorry. So I'm twice. trying to trying to interrupt it twice. Trying to keep the heat going in here. <laughs> trying to keep you <laughs> too stoked with yeah, with yeah. fire, stoking your fire. Okay, so okay. that's how I that that was my <laughs> that was my that was my strategy to begin with. Okay, I've since expanded. What about what about strategic partnerships? Since expanded quite a way. Yeah, that, that we that was a good one. <laughs> good point, Patrick. Get okay, so, so I'll get into that. So that was my that was my technique right away. Okay. Now, I've since expanded quite a bit, and I've since changed that language. I've since found myself to be as PC as possible, and you've got to align yourself with just about everyone. You can't offend people. You've got to be the nicest person out there so that you can be friends with everyone. Okay? <laughs> if everyone loves you, then that's the ideal scenario. You don't want to make any more enemies. Likes and more more friends. likes and more friends. You don't want to make enemies in this. Okay? All right? So. Good thing Instagram doesn't do dislikes. Dislikes would be tough on me. Are, yes. you, are you saying yeah. that other people feel bad at it when you like, like their photos and they won't follow you even more? Yeah, and you just got to be, you got to answer. Well, we're getting to that at the end of my proposal. Okay. okay? Um, strategic alliances, as Patrick pointed out, yep. that's key. That's what I said. You got to be seen on the right feeds. Okay. Now, something like a strategic alliance for instance, Patrick and I in New Zealand two years ago or a year and a half ago. Um, prime, just a little example here. So we already had an alliance with the Athletic. Okay. I don't. Okay. And Patrick, we're trying to get him some more likes here. Okay. So this is what we did. I said, Patrick. We got to get a picture of you in these socks, and then we'll just tag the athletic, and they'll repost it. Okay, mm-hmm. that's the kind of stuff you got to. That's that's very important. All right, getting reposted by people who have more followers than you. Me now, I don't know what because no one has more followers than me, so I, <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> You've been working on Obama lately, haven't you? I have been working on Obama. Um, so the strategic alliance with Lance Armstrong, he doesn't have nearly as many followers as me, but he's trying to do the same thing to me. That's what he's doing. <laughs> Has he taken a symposium from you previously? Well, what he's trying to do is align himself with me so that he looks more approachable and cool to the rest of the Instagram community. Okay, And I respect that. I was there. I was once a Lance Armstrong. Okay. So, in close... 
what I do now is I make sure I answer every single question. That's how you. That's how you. That's how you develop a strong fan base. Okay, they want to be engaged. They want to feel special, and they are special. They're your friends. They're your followers. Okay. <laughs> You don't want to lose any. You don't want to lose any, okay? Go over, um, another, go over the another, another, another closer here is, especially when you're being featured on, like, or I say what y'all should be doing right now, since you're going to be featured in the big time on Ultra Romance, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right? You got to go through your feed right now, and you got to cull the shit out of it. You got to take out the dead weight. You got to clip off the split ends, okay? Oh. That's big. Wow. For, for me, I have a, you know, varies at times. My, I peaked, I peaked somewhere last summer, okay, where I was getting, you know, four or five thousand likes every every photo I put up, okay. That that was right after the Business Insider article, okay, where I, where I gained twenty thousand followers overnight. All right, so. I called the sh- you don't believe I was culling when that was going on. It's like people are when you're getting featured like that and people are going through your feed, they don't want to see bullshit. They want to see the they want to see the hot stuff. Okay, so set your bar be like, okay, what's my uh, how many how many likes am I getting here, okay? And then be like, okay, what is my most liked photo? And then there's not necessarily an equation for it, but you should know what you go for. Like, okay, for example, what's your average? Um Probably, I don't know, 20. 20. Yeah. What's a good photo for you? Uh, 40 or 50. Okay, so you should take out everything in your feed that doesn't have at least 30. <laughs> All right. Okay, noted. All right. <laughs> I might have one picture left. <laughs> so are you laughing? <laughs> That's a great, I mean, think about it. When you look at other people's feeds, right, do you want to see the bullshit? If I look, if I see someone's feeds and there's like these pictures of their, what they're eating or something, or like their dog or their kid, <laughs> like babies will kill, That ba- never post a photo of a never. baby. That never. is, that is suicide. That's Instagram suicide right, right. there. No, but I, I, I made a snake once. I deleted that thing in two hours. All right. You can you can for me now where I'm at, I can tell, you know, if something's going to do well. And I you know, if something's not doing well, I, I don't, you know, generally post something like that. I'll put that on Mach 2, you know. Uh, but we have a question. Yeah, uh, so on that note, how, how long do you usually wait? Do you have a vetting process when you've posted? Are you giving yeah. something 2 to 3 hours to see if it's performing? An or? hour I could tell, you know. I'm looking, you know, a good post for me is a thousand in an hour. Um you know, I'll take like, you know, it, it depends, it changes, it ebbs and flows w- with how many you're going to end up with. But right now, you know, over the summer, if it wasn't three, I was deleting it. Now, this is sad. 15. Mm. That's very sad. I'm, we could delete that. Why are we listening to you right now? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think's gone? What do you, what do you think's the issue here? I just think, people? you know, the, the, the business insider picked up a lot of non bike people. Ah, oh, they've fallen off a little bit. And so they want lifestyle. Also, jobs. Instagram it's changed the whole, whole Instagram jobs. changed the whole thing. Everyone. It's, it's yeah. across the whole thing. So, yeah, but this is, this is going thing. back last summer. So, you know, I'm looking at, I'm looking for 1500. I'm happy with 1500. You know, I'm thrilled with three. I am, my highest liked photo isn't taken by Dan anymore. What? <laughs> Warren not changed. Warren. Warren did. So he's I think he's at sixty three. Who's Warren? Six, Comers. Warren Co- Comers. Well, I, that doesn't help me. He's the guy that did the specialized yeah. videos. Why is that photo doing better? Remember you already told me we had this conversation on the phone. Dan and I had a conversation on the phone about <laughs> <You should this. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Dan posted. I, Dan, I had the photo from Dan in, in New Zealand. I got about six thousand from it. Which one? It was the one of me and 
I'm like charging through an open meadow and there's like mountains behind. Oh, uh, I know that. And one. I'm flexing hard. That one is <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. And I'm wearing nothing but underwear. No, it's amazing. It's... Uh, <coughs> sex sells. Okay. But, I that wasn't the point. but that's not the point. <laughs> because you want for me per, for me what works for me best. It's going to be different for y'all, of course. But what you got to find out what works for you. What works for me is when when men have these feelings, but they can't explain them, and so they like. Okay, that's what works for me, and I know that, and I realize that because I'm a you know I, I'm 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 a think I'm a critical thinker. Okay, so you're a predator. Predator. You're a predator. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, we're. What else did we have? What, what was I on something here? Where, where, uh, so where you're talking I? about time, your timing, how you vet your photos, mm-hmm. and then, you know, mm-hmm. your best likes. Yeah, yeah. What brought you to have Mach 2? So Mach 2 happens, okay, when you, a power move is setting up a second Instagram account. That's a power <laughs> move. Okay? Now, when you have the second Instagram account, and people start following that too, that's the true fans. Okay? And so... The true fans, that's really who you need to, you know, when I'm on Mach 2, I won't post just, I, when I started, I would post anything. It was just a funny, it was a selfie account. Mach 2 is like a backstage pass. It's a backstage I think, I think pass. Mach 2, the first eight photos were the same day. You were yeah. stoned to the fucking bone. I just kept posting pictures of, pictures of my, of like... <laughs> of like my food and like all the no's nice. I did it I was like, yeah. I, was like I just needed to purge it out of my system because I had never done that before <laughs> selfies all right, on your on your main account on your main account even on Mach 2 I mean never post like a selfie don't do that that's nobody that's embarrassing okay on Mach 2 no, I won't do it on anything either. anymore it's just it's just kind of embarrassing it's not and so but you posted pictures of yourself. You could post pictures of yourself that other people take, but yes. never, never, that's, never something that's attached. That's actually to you. all of both your accounts. Well, that's what gets the likes. <laughs> they want to see the. They want to see the money. You know. So. So what's the, the best Instagram post? <clears throat> the best what? What's the key to um, a good Instagram post? The key to a good Instagram post is when you have action and scenery combined. Okay. So wait, can you repeat that? Action. Slow it down. Action and scenery combined. Combined. Along with a little bit of skin. Tight focus. A little bit if, of skin. What if the scenery is not so good? The scenery is not so good. Dangerous. It's, it's going to be tough. So that's why we got to work harder here on the East Coast. Yeah. On the West Coast, you could post just about anything. They have it so easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for me to be where I am and being, for the most part, an East Coaster. It's breathtaking. <laughs> Imagine if I lived out in California. Yeah. But I won't lower myself. <laughs> um, any other questions? Um, now that you're kind of like a gatekeeper, like you liking someone's post will elevate them to a new level. Right, right. Now that you're a gatekeeper, do you find yourself... Uh, Curating who you invite to the dinner table. Good question. <laughs> and who was the last person? Maybe who was the first person you that to, and who was the last person? That? Good questions. Well, you know, in my early Instagram days, up until up until probably about a year ago, I used to not miss a post from anyone. I used to be certain that I scrolled through every single picture in the feed. Okay, because you know you it, that's important to get a handle on what's trending. How many people do you call? Uh, I'm glad you asked. I wanted to ask. Nah. Three fifty. Never. Okay, that's a. That's another thing I could add in. Never share that information. Three hundred and fifty or so. <laughs> I wouldn't go any higher than that. You know. But the <laughs> thing is, I don't. I don't really look at everyone's posts anymore because I just have to answer so many questions. <laughs> I'm just too busy answering questions. So the. Uh, so yeah, you know. Yeah, well, that's another thing. When you're answering questions, never be frank. Just you have to add in some emojis, you know, and you, you gotta you gotta be like you can't just be like yes, no. You gotta you gotta be descriptive. You know, people you don't want to. I mean, when it's not even fake, it's being I'm being authentic. Like I love talking about bikes. 
you know? And I love talking about camp gear, all the stuff I get questions about. I love talking about that stuff. So, you know, that comes naturally to me. And But people want to feel special, you know? Of course. I remember in my early days asking these kind of questions. Not that I would ever ask questions about bikes or camp gear, because I already know everything. About <laughs> okay? <laughs> Nobody knows more about that stuff than I do. Everybody can say this true. Yeah. Who's more important? I'm in, most, uh, uh, who's more important in cycling right now? You or John Watson? Okay. Well, wow. maybe it goes back to gatekeeper. That's what I want to know. I want to know. Are you the most important person in cycling? Well, we're. Trying, I'm willing to believe that. We're trying to. I'm trying. To, I'm answering, fielding too many questions at once here. <laughs> I feel like you so might you get to that one after you might be the most do. important yeah. person in venture cycling, but I need you to tell me that you are. I'm going to get to that one right after okay. Moy's question, which I already forgot. Mm. Um, if, if you had advised the, the symposium, symposium? Yeah. yeah, if you had advised the symposium that what you do is you try to find people that have more followers than you mm. to follow you, mm. there are people that are constantly doing <clears> that too. Right, right. So, right. how do you curate now? That, how do you, you how know, do I you know, invite people to the dinner table? Um, okay, yeah. Who was I, the first and the last person? Okay, okay. I never. I never really wanted, you know. So when I was looking at every single picture, I could I had to be real careful who I followed because I don't want to be looking at pictures of babies and food. You know, I'm using my time wisely, <laughs> looking at pictures I want to see, and I just really all I wanted to see in the beginning was just pictures of bikes. Just show me pictures of bikes. That's what I like. I want to see what you're riding. I want to see your builds, you know? If you're riding stock shit, I don't want to see it. <laughs> and <laughs> and, uh, and so, so that I, you know, if someone was riding stock stuff, I'd, delete, I'd be like, nah, I'm not really interested in this. Just, you know, and so I just wanted to see photos of bikes. And really, my bike photos don't get nearly as many. That used to be when I was when nothing but bike people followed me. I used to get a lot of pictures at bike reveal shots, and I'd have a grand reveal of a hot new build. I have literally like 20 bikes, and I'm constantly changing the build. I don't. They never last longer than like a week. All right, and. And I love, I get off on those grand reveals because everyone get chimes in and says a fair piece about it. And it's like, it's like, a, it's like an art show, you know? And um, so... That's, I'm an art show! Yeah. <laughs> and so that's really what I wanted to see in the beginning. Now, still now, I'm still just looking, you know, when I let someone into the fray, I'm looking at their builds, you know? Or I'm looking at the trips they're taking. <laughs> And uh, you know, if they're impressive, then, then yeah, they get the likes, you know, and they'll get the follow from me. Or if they're just really nice people, and I've met them. Because that's <laughs> Patrick's thing. He only follows people he meet, he's met. Yeah. I, I like that. I respect that. I don't follow Patrick, but... Also should be noted that once I surpass Patrick and followers, he's quit. <laughs> okay, nice here. All right, so first person I let into the fray, I can't remember. I wish I could. Um, last. Um, oh, fancy Fred. Oh yeah, fancy Fred. He's awesome. He's just, cool. Ju- you, I just I just started following him two days ago. I haven't seen any of his posts. Oh, he's awesome. But yeah, he seems like a cool. He's person. a Napoleon Dynamite. Okay. Cycling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like, like biker fox? Yeah. He's awesome. Um, no one biker fox? Yes. Okay, thank you. Took me a while to follow JD Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because he power posts. Oh. Yeah. God. But, yeah. No, no. But, God. You know, I, I, I like his commentary. Yeah, he's like I like his commentary. Yeah. Posts at a time. Oh, yeah, no. yeah. Oh, no, he's right. Okay, now <laughs> on to the John Watson question. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were here for this. We could really put on. Uh, perhaps he'll want to do a like follow up actual symposium thing. Yeah, he's in Japan right now. So. Um, who told me? Okay, so anyway, when, you know, being in Austin, it's impossible. We both lived in Austin at the same time, so it was impo- impossible to avoid it. You know, um, not that I wanted to. I I started. Wanting to meet John Watson on the basis of that he was a, a metalhead, and any metalhead that comes out of their parents' basement is okay with me. I want to talk to them and talk about music, you know. And so yeah, we went on a few bike rides. 
And yeah, he he had like he probably had like ten thousand followers at this point, which seems like a drop in the hat nowadays. I mean, Mach, <laughs> Mach two will be there in a month, you know. <laughs> but back then, that was big. You know, it's funny to think that was big. That was really big, and getting like two hundred likes and two hundred likes on on the on on whatever. What was it called back then? Probably John Probably. Probably Just, not probably. Probably not probably. It was a big deal. I was not into track bikes ever, um, and I thought the track trick stuff was probably the grossest thing I'd ever seen in my life. <laughs> and so this is what I knew about him prior to meeting him. Uh, the first time I met him, he wanted to go mountain biking. So I was like, fuck yeah, let's go mountain biking. And uh, took a few photos, and he put them up, and they were greatly received. And I think that he realized that also, that there was something going on here, that there was some magic. This guy works for the camera. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. John, being a photographer and an astute businessman, said, we got a guy here that can get some likes. Okay? So, we started working together. And... Um, I think it really crescendoed with the uh, rosé photo shoot. And I remember telling to him, as the rosé bottle popped, I love character development. And he said, isn't it great? <laughs> then we went out for tacos, and he got me so drunk I peed the bar stool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You knew about my problem, though, you know? Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> Incontinence is... Uh, so... <laughs> Alright, that's another thing. Self-parody. Self you can't take yourself seriously. People are going to start calling you out on shit, you know? And so I feel that my strong suit is I'm a master of self-parody. Okay, you got to you got to find the joke before other people do, mm. and that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So never put someone down for your own benefit and self-parody. Um, that ensures that that you're safe from from ridicule and. Uh, and so, yeah, I, I, it's it, knock on wood. I mean, I, you know, I see what happens on other people's, on other, the, we used to call Patrick, I used to call them the big guns. Yeah, the big guns. Big guns, please. And they get a lot of ridicule, you know, a lot of haters out there. People follow pe people like Watson just to hate them. You know, it's crazy. And to think, like, what those people's lives must be like, or what, how, but, you know, he stirs the pot, and so, so do other people. And I'm not into that. I don't, I'm not into stirring the pot. I just want to. Unless it's filled with nettles. Unless it's filled with nettles, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So, to say who is, who is more important. Yeah, it seems like you just took I danced like around 15, that maybe one. 20 minutes to avoid that question. Danced around that one. To say who's important right now. More important right now. I mean, Watson takes some incredible photos. I can't. I can't compete with his. He's a much better photographer than me. But as far as the likable character goes, you know, I'll let y'all decide. Um, so he's more. He. I would say that he's more. More liked for his photos, and I'm more liked for who I am. So. I just meant contribution to adventure cycling. Contribution to adventure who's, cycling. Who's the president without, of adventure cycling? Not, I mean, without a doubt, that's me. <laughs> and would you? Would anybody argue that? Who, who else? Uh, Ian Hubble. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> First guy to ride the Darien Gap on a bicycle. Well, it, that's that's just stupid. Is there any artisanal cheese on that point? Exactly. No, it was not. Self parody. I don't do trips. I don't like to do hard things. You know, you, people, <laughs> people have to be able to relate to your posts. They don't. You know, it's, you have to be relatable. Okay. Can't be alienating. Yeah, you can't alienate people with how like with how hardcore you are because that's just that's just it's not sustainable. Um. So, any more questions? I have just one. I mean, we, we, we touched on captions. How, how much time do you put into your captions? Mm, yeah. 
yeah. captions. I almost completely overlooked captions. Mm-hmm. That's going to be another five hundred dollars. Hashtags. <laughs> you still have to get. Uh, yeah. 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 All right. Well, hashtags. Okay. First off, and we have to do a walkthrough. Yeah. Hashtag, yeah, yeah, yeah walkthrough. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> one all right. One. All right. Hashtags. <laughs> I paid for this. <laughs> <laughs> hashtags. <laughs> three words. Three words. Hashtag don't. Hashtag use. Hashtag them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, seriously, nobody likes hashtags, and I've never used them. They don't work. No, like ridiculous ones. Are ridiculous funny. ones are funny, like our like we the name like of our, like the name of our <laughs> tour. But man, hashtags <laughs> is so bush league. I see. We're about blessed in life. In yeah, life. like that. Yeah. I did that. I did that in all of my mock tooth posts in the beginning. <laughs> they all said, "Love my body." Like, <laughs> um, smoothie life. <laughs> That's what you come off as, even if you have, a, you know, pure intentions. You know, it's, it's just a cry out like, please like me. It's just too desperate. Uh, people can sense that desperation, and that's what hashtags are, unless they're funny. We invented, now I should point out that Patrick and I invented the cool hashtag, Hashtag cool now one of the now probably the most popular hashtag on Instagram. <laughs> Patrick and I invented so I will always use hashtag cool. It's a true story. True story. Um, you guys were the first people ever. We were the first people to ever use cool. Tip the tail. Um, captions. Captions. I, uh, you know, captions are important because you don't want to offend anybody, and uh, you got to check your language. You know, you can't be, you can't come off, you can't give them any, you can't give the haters any fuel, okay? And you can't be a hater yourself. So, I just try to keep my captions pretty neutral. Um, Maybe that's also how I stay away from the helmet Nazis. I don't know how I've stayed away from the helmet Nazis, but I don't, I've I've probably get, I've probably only gotten like three helmet comments my entire Instagram. Um, How is that possible? Yeah. So, you know, you just have to be, I don't know, I don't know why I did that. Does your but mom have an Instagram? She does, and she comments heavily on my he does. He doesn't follow her. <laughs> doesn't what? You don't follow her. I don't follow my own Too mother. Many kids. Yeah. Too many grandkids. Too many kids. <laughs> <laughs> Too many grandkids. Does your dad have an Instagram? He doesn't even know, I don't think he even knows I have one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Yeah, the captions, you know, you got to be something, you know, something short. can't be too long. You want people to be able to read it all. Unless it's a history lesson. I like giving out history lessons. Um, so, uh, but yeah, you got to be just funny enough to get your point across. But just point across to get your funny across. <laughs> 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 All right, and lastly, I think I believe that's the end of the group symposium. Symposium. I believe so, Patrick. Do you have any closing words as a as a handler and or um, host? Host. Handler. <laughs> Just like to say, <laughs> knowing Bennett as well as I know him, it was a conscious decision to let him have more followers. Than me. <laughs> I think you guys can tell his ego really couldn't have handled it if my follower count had just skyrocketed. <laughs> so the Instagram gods mm-hmm. smile on him and and I uh, got bored. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How about your wife? My wife put up a good fight for a long time. She did. But in the end, she wasn't willing to post nude photos of herself like you were. <laughs> death blow. Though. Every ten photos for a while there was in a, in a speedo. And my wife has a little more dignity. You can't have dignity. <laughs> you shouldn't have an Dignity's out the window. Oh, dignity's out the window. You are... Please like me. <laughs> Dignity is cancerous. That's right. Well, so, that's the end of the symposium. Give me your $500 now. <laughs> Thank you for your... Please, folks, your likes are enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to quit Instagram now. <laughs> it's not... Please don't quit Instagram. <laughs> Thank you.
give up. I've done everything you said not to do. 